Mitral regurgitation. The characteristic auscultatory finding of mitral regurgitation is a holosystolic murmur of constant intensity, which is heard best at the cardiac apex. This murmur is high-pitched and blowing in character. Listen to a patient with mitral regurgitation. I will start with three normal beats and then add the murmur. The intensity of the mitral regurgitation murmur is directly related to the pressure gradient between the left ventricle and the left atrium in systole. If this murmur gets loud, it can become harsh. The classic murmur of mitral regurgitation is plateau-shaped and holosystolic, extending from the first heart sound all the way to the second heart sound. The duration of this murmur reflects the fact that a significant gradient exists between the left ventricle and the left atrium throughout all of systole. The murmur of mitral regurgitation is most prominent at the cardiac apex and typically radiates to the axilla. However, in patients with primary involvement of the posterior papillary muscle, the regurgitant jet may strike the left atrial wall adjacent to the aortic root, causing this systolic murmur to be transmitted to the left sternal edge. To recap, the murmur of mitral regurgitation is systolic, maximum at the cardiac apex, and plateau-shaped in character.